Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another one and today we're going to be reacting to Concerto of the Desperado from The Roots. This suggested by Joe Division, so thank you Joe for the suggestion. Keep coming in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. But without any further ado, let's get right into it. Let's see what Concerto of the Desperado is all about. Let's see what The Roots got to say. Let's get it. Okay, interesting vibe. Starting off a little quiet. We'll see if it heats up or uh, kind of, uh, what's the word, gets louder as it goes. But very interesting style. The black and white, it works. That uh, female vocal coming in in the background. Very ethereal, kind of lacy vibe. It just adds a little bit of brightness underneath everything. It almost looks like claymation in the first couple shots here, especially with just like the microphone right in the center of the camera. But let's see where it takes us. The concerto of the Desperado. All double O T S. Check the flow. If you don't like, I know. Do you know the motto? That's on the floor. It got to go. Yo, in the glow of the moon, over the melancholy metro. Cool. So it starts off. Seems like especially during like maybe that's like a hook section or a pre-verse type of section we just hit. Seems like we're really going to be playing off the concerto of the old Desperado. Got your motto. All of those, you know, kind of not necessarily double O sounds, but ah O type of sounds, which can be an uh, an O in the first place or an A or, you know, whatever else they can combine. We'll see. Do you know the motto? That's on the floor. It got to go. Yo, in the glow of the moon over the melancholy metro. My poetry is set like a UFO. The maestro deliver this concerto. My physical play the role of a vessel. The level of my lyrics law manifesto. My thoughts rest. I love that. Melancholy mess metro to maestro. Great rhymes there. Great repetition of that M. This concerto, my physical play the role of a vessel, the level of my leverage law manifesto, my thoughts wrestle and attack with the killer instincts of a gorilla stronger than Samson, without the lilla, my soliloquy possess, my ability to just stimulate you like the best, since a lilla, the half like the illa del Beautiful. Yeah, great feel to it, nice clean rhymes, great delivery off the rip here. The only thing is, is... You know, and I notice this with a lot of the older rap tracks we go back and listen to. I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but it looks like this came out in 1996. And it just seems like in the 80s and 90s, music was quieter. It was just a less punchy. There was less like thickness to it. Maybe it's a, you know, a barrier of the technology. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but pretty much every time we listen to a track from this era, the first thing I immediately think is I would love to hear this remixed and mastered because literally you could just add like three decibels to the whole track and it would feel so much better because right now I'm trying to like squint with my ears if that makes sense you know when you when you try to read something with two super tiny letters now i'm trying to listen to something with tiny sounds almost but it's got a good feel to it it is a it is nice so far nice movement of topics talking about hindu worshippers let's see what else they talking about 
river deeper than the meditations of a Hindu worshipper, an orthodox hip hop minister, then a seven yet cheat on my thoughts with the you lose your balance when the sound hits you. So check for the fifth militia, a poet's under pressure, stressing that you get the picture, even if it means you gotta hang over the pants. <laughs> they get the picture and then they click. <laughs> that works really well. I like that a lot. A poet's under pressure, stressing that you get the picture, even if it means you gotta hang over the banister. I pull a microphone on any pistol brandisher and take advantage of you because you amateur. Style's gunning down your sound man and manager. What? This how we do. Amateur to manager to. I think he started with like Vanisher or something like that. Great Ben's there. Love the way he fit those rhymes together. A nice uh, multi syllable, too, even if they don't match perfectly per each syllable. Oh, brandish, or like brandish, uh, almost. It's interesting the way he bends that one. Bannister, that's a great rhyme with it, too. Breaking them seeds down to flat shun. Tell your squadron, it's time to go to war. We spawn be out. The gun stands home of the desperado. R double O T S, check the flow. If you don't like, I know, leave it over my toe. And that's the fate, got to go. Hey yo, it's the gun stands home of the desperado. R double O T S, check the flow. If you don't like, I know, leave it over my toe. That's all the point, got to go. Check it out, the emperor, the universe expert. Okay. Interesting. Nice layering on that. We'll call it. We'll start calling it the hook now. Um, great to see that repeated. Now it was repeated twice instead of at the beginning where they only went through that one round. So it went from being kind of like the pre-verse to becoming the hook and evolving to be a little bit longer. The layering on the vocal works well. Helps differentiate it from the verse where the vocal is a little bit thinner. And then also, it sounded like we got a couple layers underneath that maybe were slightly out of sync. Maybe they were like slight ad libs or something. I like the feel of that click ad lib during the verse, but there was just a little bit of like layers popping out where it kind of started to throw me off during the hook. Very slight, but um, on you know, ninety five percent. Love the hook. That little like five percent of those extra layers, I can't really put my finger on. Yo, I feel like every rapper has said something about Sodom and Gomorrah. Honestly, I probably sound like an idiot. I don't know what that is or what what that's relevant to or anything. If anybody could, could let me know. The only Gamora I've ever heard of is in Guardians of the Galaxy, dog. Man, I, I probably sound brain dead for that, but help me out here. And then the only Sodom I know is Saddam Hussein or sodomy, but I, I hope that's not what we're talking about. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Let's keep going. Leaving these open like the box of Pandora with style that's new within the world order. Approximately three quarters of y'all of water. I straight the porch, then orchestrate your torture with roots and culture. The pilgrimage to the line of scrimmage up against your image. But life is a height and a strong hit a percentage. It still is a war, and within it, I'm the lieutenant. Bring this back just a little bit. Nice rhyme with a uh scrimmage there roots of culture the pilgrimage to the line of scrimmage up against your image but life is a heist and a strong get a percentage it's still is yeah a that's great scrimmage to image to percentage kind of bending that e to almost like a short i percentage getting that rhyme out of it that works well. In the strong get a percentage, it still is a war. And within it, I'm the lieutenant that surrounds you like a peninsula to snatch the pennant. You fold like Japan's futons and fans. While I design a plan to make a rapper step like a pedestrian, I crush a mountain into grains of sand. Your pain stains the hand. And yeah, I'm a great way of bending the words instead of pedestrian, pedestrian, just stressing different syllables, getting it to match with different sounds. Beautiful work. I mean, Although I'd love for this to be a little louder so I wouldn't feel like I'm 
like zoning in with all of my might. Um, it's a it's a great track. It's very well done, well delivered, well put together. Everything about this is cool. To graze the sand, your pain stains the hand and held the mic and served it to the stand. The desperado that refused to follow the fifth aficionado wake you up into parts like for bottle, a bottle like the dog of the night. The sweetest sound simple okay. when the mic. They use the simple back of wonderful touch there. Kind of weird that they went for an effect that's not actually vibrato, but um, it does communicate the message of like wavering tones essentially it, it is cool the speaker sounds silly when they talk on the mic they use the simple back and forth the same old rhythm is playing i rather ultra magnetize your brain it's the hip-hop purist that leave your lost like a tourist inside the chorus this bringing up the chorus that's breaking them down to fraction take a squadron it's time to go to war we spawn react the of the desperado it kind of seems like the music video, they're doing like some archaeological dig of sorts and they found like a microphone fossil or something. I can't be certain. Because it's it's interesting, this one, how they're kind of blending in like somewhat of like a background story just with the ever present fact that they're just wrapping the track in the middle of this desert or wherever it is. But um. The video is interesting. It's cool. It's got enough going on. Not too much. I I really hate it when a music video is so over the top and overproduced that it starts to take away from the song. Because, like, I want to be able to focus on how it sounds. And then, you know, the video later added on, you know, that's great and all. But let's be here for the music, man. Of the desperado, all double OTS check the flow. If you don't like, I know, then you know the motto. And that's the big gas to go. Yo, it's the good chance show of the desperado. All double OTS check the flow. If you don't like, I know, then you know the motto. It's all sport, gas to go. Yeah, gas to go. Seems legit. Nah. Cool track. Decent outro, you know. Nothing nothing crazy. They give us a little break section, brought the drums back in, and had the uh that female vocal bring us back out. But regardless, that was Concerto of the Desperado by the Roots. I really enjoyed that. I hope y'all did as well. Thank you again to Joe Division for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this. Much love to everybody in the No Shoes gang, and I'll see you all next time.